Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing some predictions for the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Yeah. Um, the very highly anticipated pay-per-view by both of us. Sure. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You gotta hype it up somehow. I guess so. Hype it up to ourselves. <laughs> it's, not gonna, it's not gonna work. <laughs> the Extreme Rules with the... No That's not gonna be very Extreme Rules. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you have, three whole matches? Uh... There's uh, Alexa and Nia. Mm -hmm. There's Ziggler and Rollins. Braun and Owens. Well, is Ziggler and Rollins really a extreme Man rules? Match. Well, it's a stipulation. I guess that's fair. All right, fair enough. <clears throat> um, and then that might be it. Why are we not getting a stairs match? Because uh, that's at TLC. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh, yeah, that's true. But they always had them at Is that TLC. what it was? Yeah. Right. That's weird. Yeah. Also, there was only like two of them, so yeah. it's not like they always did any of it. I guess. Um, anyway, let's get started. All right, I guess. So. Uh, the they announced on SmackDown that on the pre-show it's going to be the New Day versus Sanity. Mm -hmm. This is a completely pointless match. Yes. Um, I feel like they're just going to put Sanity over here. Uh, I would assume they should. There's no other reason not to. Right. Because the New Day doesn't really need the win. No. So. This was just a throw together match. Yeah, I'm going with sanity. Yeah, I, I will uh, agree with you here. All right. Yeah. So we think they should open the show strong, right? Mm -hmm. Have that Iron Man match. Yeah. Even though it should be 60 minutes, but hey, it's still fun. that it's it's a card with 11 matches on it. That's fair. So, um, if it was gonna be like a Raw exclusive pay per view, that's fine. But. We don't have those anymore, Matt. I'm, I'm just saying. That I know. That would make more no, sense. I'm just telling you. Um, or on a Raw. Yeah, that, that's a good way to eat up uh, some time. Like yeah. that uh, gauntlet match. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go with Seth Rollins taking the title back. Really? Because of a uh, Ziggler and McIntyre miscommunication. Mm -hmm. That leads to a feud between the two of them. Because I don't think McIntyre is going to become the big single star that he should by being with Dolph Ziggler. That is all correct. I just don't think that Ziggler is going to lose the title yet. I think that this is being used more to transition Seth away from the title. And that what you say will happen, just, just not, not yet. just yet. All right, fair enough. So I'm going to say that Ziggler will win. That's fine. All right, That's so fine. Uh, up next we have Carmella versus Asuka. <sighs> this is another one with the stipulation that makes four. Um, yeah. James Ellsworth being in a shark cage above the ring. Yeah, there will be all types of shenanigans. He'll be able to get his head through the cage because he doesn't have a chin. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that will be said, yeah. <laughs> of course it will. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> how many times am I going to say, you know, oh, Asuka's got to win the title here, yeah. right? You do have to say it. Yeah, I have at to. At the same time, something's going to happen. Yeah. I, I'm going to go with Carmella. Uh, that's <laughs> That's going to agree. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. as long as Ellsworth is going to be a part of it, I, I feel like she's going to win. Mm -hmm. um, but I like what you had mentioned on our podcast about, you know, maybe Becky Lynch going up against Carmella yeah, or something that, like that'll that. That'll probably be the person who actually takes it from her. Yeah, She was built up too well as a cowardly heel with that briefcase yeah. to let her... Legitimize just herself now? Or? Well, no, to let her lose the title. Oh, so quickly. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let her, you know accentuate the traits that she established yeah. and make her more legitimate moving forward so that in the future like she doesn't need the money in the bank to be considered a legitimate threat right she can use her i guess her smarts or whatever you want to call it yeah and uh, i mean the big problem with building carmella up on smackdown is your heels are all your low card mm -hmm. women they Online. are the weak ones Unlike so. Roy, where you, well, I guess you at least had Alicia Fox, you had Dana Brooke, you had. Well, they're weak, too. Eh. Yeah, I know, but they're face. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Mm, no. Alicia Fox was a heel. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was a heel. <laughs> Dana Brooke was, too. Well, she was Titus Worldwide. They're technically face. Yeah, but when she was actually wrestling, she All was right, a face. All right, fine. I fine. mean, a heel. So, fine. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> anyway, uh, up next we have Finn Balor versus Constable Corbin. <sighs> Finn has to win, I, right? Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way Finn... There is... Actually, I believe he's won every one of his single matches at pay-per-views. Makes sense. If he's been in multi-man matches, he lost. But, but that 
doesn't really no, count no. as a loss as much. Like, yes, you didn't win, but yeah. you didn't lose. There's, there's no way Corbin should go over. No, because there's no benefit to it. I know that's, that's the problem with the most past. of the matches. Yeah. Um, all right. So up next, we got the Bludgeon Brothers versus Team Hell Now. Um, is not the match we thought we were going to get no. for the Bludgeon Brothers coming out of the Uso feud. But I think the they're too big on Daniel Bryan. I, I think what's going to... I'm going to agree with you. So you're going with Team Hell No. Yes, win. they're yes. going to win. And then Sanity is going to take the titles from them being the three-on-two. Which is fine. Possibly. Because I don't, I don't think at any point they really felt they were going to go too strong on the Blood Brothers to begin mm-hmm. with. So I think this was the best way if... Because this gives Daniel Bryan something to do for a short period of time. Right, yeah. <clears throat> but she still hasn't yet to sign a new contract, right? Yes, that, as far as I know, that is correct. Um, so th- <laughs> it kind of gives him something to do where he feel where he can feel like he's contributing. and Semi-important. Know, yeah. Um, and at the same time, you're going to a place you were going to go anyway, mm-hmm. but you just threw something in the middle of it. That's so, fair. Yeah. But yeah. Um, Up next, we got Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens in a cage match. Yeah, I mean, we kind of talked about this previously. I mean, Kevin Owens can only, I guess, go so long without gaining some sort of upper hand on Braun. I mean... Well, the best part is our thought isn't even him getting an upper hand. It's him lucking into a win. Has he won any pay-per-view matches? He's only won, like, two matches the entire year. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. probably not this year. No, yeah, no, because last match was Money in the Bank, mm-hmm. and then actually before that was Mania. He's been and he lost to that. Yeah, he's been in matches on Raw, but I think he loses like all of them, most of them, because he fought Braun at least twice. Yeah. Had to have lost them, unless oh, and he tagged with Braun. They yeah, didn't win they that. D- they won that match. Yeah. Yes, because they count they the uh, Baron and Finn counted out right. Um, but I liked my theory with Braun throwing Owens through the cage. It's therefore, the, Owens gets the win. It's the best way to go. Yeah. Because it, it... Well, A, it'll make the... If they continue with this, it makes sense because now Braun's mad because he lost. And even if... I don't know. It, it It's not good either way. No, it's not. So... Because and it's just a it's a way to make Braun look strong without doing anything. Right, right. Yes. Um, and the fact that we've talked about this in the past, Kevin Owens can get his ass kicked constantly forever. Mm-hmm. As soon as they flip a switch, he's, he's legitimate. legitimate. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, it, and he's so entertaining. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, there, and there's it, truth to that. There's, he's the only one who could pull this off. Yeah. No one, no one else could possibly. He still shouldn't be in this position. No, the, the story but, is terrible. Yeah. But he makes the story entertaining. Yeah. So. I guess that's fair. Yeah. Um, then we have we're gonna go with the B team versus the the leaders of worlds. Yes. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Uh huh. Um, while the B team has certainly proven that they didn't just need the Miz to be entertaining. Obviously, they're not gonna win here. No. They're just kind of uh, uh stop gap. run out yeah i guess between um the matt and bray winning and when mm-hmm. they lose the titles so but um, there's the story that they told was good yeah that, that was fine um but like you said there's only so much you could do with the b team mm-hmm. um so yeah I, I think matt and bray will retain yes and it was funny because on raw they actually got annoyed eventually or finally because oh, they kind the of team. yeah, because yeah. they kind of shrugged it off before that, and mm-hmm. now they actually showed some ferocity. Yeah. I mean, I could see the B team losing here, getting a second shot, losing again, and then them well, saying, "Well, if you can't beat them, you might as well join them," and then do some sort of the leaders of world. Honestly, stable. that could be something that they just do right after this. Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And, th- and then. I mean, then maybe them get a rematch on Raw or something like that. Yeah, but afterwards. Or, or you just mean after Extreme Rules, there's the... Yeah. Yeah. And then, because I think the, their idea is to have the Authors of Pain face right. them next. Yeah, and... So if you have that happen, 
um, in between now and SummerSlam, then like you have you established your stable, mm -hmm. they could still lose the titles and then go on to something else with the four of them. Right. So that would work. Yeah. yeah that's not, not a terrible idea. Um, U.S. title match, yes. I guess, next? Jeff versus Shinsuke. Yeah. Uh, so, funny enough, I don't like the outcome, but I think Shinsuke is going to win. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you. I mean, granted, now I have three titles changing hands, and that's probably not going to happen. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Team Hell No, I have Seth going over. And oh, yeah, now that's right, okay. You picked uh, Ziggler. But. Yeah, I was gonna sound like what? But yeah, no, I, I think Shinsuke the, definitely. The next, the next two matches we have on here are matches yeah. where I don't think the champion's gonna lose. No. So that's why I was confused. Nope. That makes more sense now. Yeah. But I, what the last couple of pay per views, I felt like no titles changed hands, right? It's true. Um, I th at Money in the Bank, nothing moved. Well, the women's, but that was because of the. Yeah, it was the Money in the Money Bank in cash in now because yeah. technically I think Nia won anyway. Right? Because yeah. Ronda got attacked? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. that means Ronda won. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because it was by the disqualification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, AJ retained. Lesnar wasn't there. Jeff retained. I didn't even wrestle it. He didn't? I don't think so. Okay, that would make more yeah. sense. Yeah, because that and the Raw Tag titles weren't on the okay. line. Yeah, yeah. Bludgeon yeah. Brothers retained against the club. But All right, so yeah, well, Raw Women's Championship. Bliss defending against Nia Jax. Yep. Like you had said previously, this is going to have Ronda at ringside. This is going to set up Ronda versus Bliss at SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Yep. Or potentially a triple threat match, but that is not as good. No. Although I'm not sure how good a Ronda versus Bliss match is going to be. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Yep. Um, up next, we have AJ versus Rusev. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, AJ is going to go over. Yeah. Besides the fact that no matter how over Rusev has been, um, they're not still gonna. not going to nope. pull the trigger on him. Nope. And all of the speculated future main events that showcase AJ versus Samoa Joe. Right. And, I mean, <sighs> AJ's going to be on the cover of 2K19 and mm -hmm. things like that. Granted, that's never really no, stopped them. but... I mean, you're going to keep the guy on top, I feel like. Yeah, it's fair. And he's the best champion to have on SmackDown. Yeah, absolutely. I think they're going to go for the long haul with him, mm -hmm. maybe even trying to break that record. The one that Brock just broke? Yeah. It would make a lot more sense for AJ Styles to go down as the longest yeah. reigning WWE champion. Yeah, I think champion. Vince was actually uh, had said recently that he wished he signed him 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's true. Yeah, absolutely. Um, actually, that's not <clears> true. Because <throat> they would have ruined him. Have AJ Styles, uh, it would generally, have been too small. Yeah. Yes, yeah. in an era got the Ziggler treatment. Yeah, with in, and Ziggler came after him technically. Mm -hmm. um, when you got Triple H, Batista, Randy Orton, um, the big Rock guns Lesner, were still on top. Rock was still there at the time. Um, well, ten years ago, yeah. two thousand seven. A, a ruthless aggression era. In that yeah. Point. Well, because he tried out in the early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, with the rest of his buddies, mm -hmm. Bobby Roode. Yep. Um, Austin Joe. was technically still there at the time. Mm. I know that he was on his way out, but he right. was still there. Um, Kane, Undertaker. Yeah. Um, Edge was big then, right? Yes, and Edge is a generally bigger mm -hmm. guy. Um, so Yeah, no, it, absolutely. He would have yeah. gotten eaten alive, and <clears throat> he wouldn't have lasted anyway. So yeah. if anything, they made the right decision by right. not signing him, letting yep. him... Do his thing, go Although, to New Japan, bring a stock up. And yeah, I was going to say, sudden. funny enough, that's really been their thing lately anyway. They just let people get successful elsewhere and then kind of just bank off of that. It's it's not a bad business move. Yeah, it works. Um, Now on to the main event. Yeah. Or the speculated main event. Roman versus Bob. Yes. Um, so... Mr. Dead Behind the Eyes versus Mr. No Charisma. What is... If this doesn't have stipulation, what's the point of having this match? I know currently there's no stipulation. How is that announced. a question I'm going to answer? No, you're not going to answer. Oh, so okay. It's, it's a rhetorical, <laughs> rhetorical question. question. <laughs> um, so, basically, um, I feel like they're going to add the stipulation during the show. Something's going to happen. Kurt Angle is going to be in the back and say, okay, 
we need to get a number one contender for loser leaves raw match honestly that'd be fine send roman over to smackdown <laughs> that would be all right why so you could take the title from aj maybe oh, we got a believable uh thing yeah, here exactly um anyway i feel like and this goes against everything i believe in whoa that lashley might actually win this because I, they shouldn't do roman versus brock again and <laughs> If they do Lashley versus Lesnar at it's SummerSlam, something, something different. At least you can have Braun cash in, right? And feel like they're not losing but, anything. And you can build up Lashley's legitimacy. He is a UFC, a MMA yeah. fighter. He's got oh, a he, good record. Yeah. You know, I mean, he, he's he's a legitimate person, right? There's nothing. There's no reason besides the fact that he just doesn't show emotion that he's Which not is a funny good wrestler. Because he's done it elsewhere no problem they're probably telling him not to yeah we gotta make roman look good no it's probably more of you need to be a tough guy yeah and he doesn't know how to do that and express himself at the same time i guess so. because braun can mm -hmm. but it's not an, exactly an easy thing to do no so also braun's at the point where he can do literally anything and they'll be okay with it yeah pretty much so um so what do you what do you think I gotta go with Roman. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the easier decision. To I gotta make, go so with Roman, the big I dog. I wouldn't blame you. And like I said, this goes against everything, because ninety percent of the time, if Roman's in a singles match, I just say he's gonna win because it's Roman. <laughs> but I, I mean, they've steered us wrong so many times before. Yeah. I'm gonna just stick with the ship. It's going in one direction. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. It. I don't blame you at all. It. So, but hopefully, you know. This pay per view doesn't disappoint, even though it probably will. But... Um, the pay per views in general have been pretty good. Yeah, but... Backlash was really the only bad one. It's true. Um, and this one has a lot more going for it. Yeah, I mean, even in the garbage tag team titles, which usually the tag team title match haven't been good, and at least you have Daniel Bryan on SmackDown, mm -hmm. and at least the B team has been entertaining. Yeah, the Hell No versus Bludgeon Brothers is a lot better than anybody else versus yeah. Bludgeon Brothers. So. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully they don't have Roman versus Lashley main event because that's just going to be another disaster waiting to happen. But if they do, I think it's still better than Samoa Joe versus Reigns because it's going to be more physical I than guess. Samoa but Joe. But I feel like that Joe at least had fan support. Lashley doesn't really have any fan support, he, and they're just going to give up on the match. He might. We could see an old uh, WCW show where the fans start throwing shit in the ring. That's possible. Throwing chairs. And... <laughs> no, not ECW. Yeah. But Garbage. Whatever. Yeah, so... It is what it is. That was our Extreme Rules preview and prediction. Yes. Video. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.